Hi, this is Sherry with Happy Gut for Life, and today I'm going to show you how I make SCD 24 hour yogurt in my Instant Pot. When I make my yogurt, I use grass fed whole milk. You don't have to use whole milk, you can use it. You can actually even use skim or 2%. Um, those will make a much thinner and more tart yogurt. Um, I do like mo the more fat it is, the thicker the yogurt will be. You can even use um, a heavy cream to make yogurt, and that makes like a whipped yogurt, so you can use kind of as a dessert topping. You can actually whip it just like whipping cream. If you're using heavy cream to make yogurt, just make sure you read the label carefully. Um, sometimes those have some added ingredients, like some gums, so just make sure that it's just 100% heavy cream. So what I like about using the Instant Pot is that you can just pour the milk into the instant pot and set it to boil um, on the yogurt setting and you don't have to do anything else. Um, when I make it on the stove I have to stand there usually and monitor it I'm uh, so that it doesn't boil over or burn to the bottom you have to stir it but in the instant pot you don't have to do anything just have to wait for it to finish. There's a yogurt, if you have an instant pot with the yogurt setting you hit that until it is on boil and then you just let it do its thing. Um, a lot of people ask me if you have to make yogurt when you're following the specific carbohydrate diet. And I mean, you don't have to, but I do recommend it if you can do it because it's really healthy for you. It has a lot of probiotics in it. And it is also very versatile, especially when we're first starting out with SCD. Um, what we can eat can be very limited, especially when you haven't figured out what you can have or how to make anything. So yogurt's very convenient. It's good for breakfast. It's good for smoothies. You can freeze it for like frozen yogurt. Um, you can cook with it. If you do cook with it, um, heating it up does kill the cultures in there. So you're not gonna wanna do that all the time or a lot, but it's handy if you do have a recipe that you need. Um, it's especially great for Thai type food or Indian food use it only for cooking because then you're not going to get the beneficial cultures. Um, a lot of people think that you can't uh, freeze it and still get the cultures, but it, actually you can. When you freeze the yogurt, the cultures go into hibernation. So they're just in kind of a stasis. And then when they are warmed up again, just through the process of thawing or um, when you eat it. So if you make frozen yogurt, when you're eating it, it warms up the cultures and it activates them again. My milk reached 185 degrees, and now the next step is that I leave it to cool off. Um, we cool it off to about 90 to 100 degrees. Um, you can do it to room temperature, but I usually do it um, between 90 and 100 degrees before I add my yogurt starter and continue the yogurt making process. So it's been about two hours and my milk has cooled down to about 100 degrees. Um, the kind of yogurt you use for starter is important. It should have the correct uh, cultures in it. Um, I'll show you right here. So there's what you want to look for. It is the Bulgaricus and the Thermophilus. Um, you don't you want to make sure that you don't have uh, the Bifidus culture in there. That is not an SCD legal culture. So what I like to do is I like to whisk the yogurt just so it's smooth. So as, after you whisk it, you're going to put in about a cup of, the, of your cooled milk. Then you are going to just, you know, kind of stir that so it mixes it together. Then you just pour that back in. it. So now we have our yogurt ready to incubate. Um, you just put it in the pot into the instant pot and then you put um, the lid on you can use. You don't actually have to use the regular instant pot lid. You can use a plate or if you have the glass lid for like a slow cook, the slow cooker setting. You can use that, um, but I just usually put on the regular lid. Okay, and you don't have to have it to ceiling. You can have it on the venting. I don't think it hurts it though if you do have it on the ceiling. 
Okay, so then we are going to set it for the yogurt setting. You don't want boil, you don't want less. Make sure you don't have the less setting. You want the normal setting and then you want it at 24 hours. And then you just do that and it is ready to go. So that is the first stage of our yogurt making and I will be back tomorrow to see how it turns out. There you can see my yogurt has been going for 13 hours, so it's just a little over halfway. Um, one thing you'll notice on the yogurt setting of the Instant Pot is that it counts up instead of counts down. So you can see exactly how long your yogurt has been in. It's now been 24 hours and the yogurt's done. So what happens is um, that when it reaches 24 hour mark, it will shut off automatically. It doesn't stay warm or anything like on a when you're using the pressure cooker. So what you'll want to make sure that you have your time planned out. You can program a little bit of extra time. Um, if you know you're going to be home at a certain time, you can you can do the yogurt for, you know, up to like 36 hours. I usually don't go longer than about 30. Um, so just make sure you plan accordingly when you're doing your yogurt. We're going to take the lid off and see how it looks. And there is the finished yogurt. You want to refrigerate it for about eight hours before you move it to a new container if you can. Um, I have put it, taken it out of here right away because I needed the Instant Pot. It was okay. Um, it didn't hurt it. But the less you do with it, the better it will set and the more it will thicken. I definitely like making yogurt in my Instant Pot. It's just so easy. You don't have to really do a lot. You just throw the milk in there on the boil method and then when that's ready, you cool it. Then you just do 24 hours on yogurt. It's so easy. Here is our chilled yogurt. I've mixed it with some berries and some honey and it's all ready to eat. And that is my SCD 24 hour Instant Pot yogurt. For more of my recipes, visit happygutforlife.com.